ಶಿವಸಂಭಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೆ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾಮಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾಷಾಮಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ 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 ಸುಖ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸ್ವಪ್ರಕಾಶ ವ್ಯಾಪಕ ನಾಮ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಬುಧ್ಯ ಬೋಧ್ಯ ಬುದ್ಧೇರ್ದೃಗ್ಯತ್ತು ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಅಪಾರ ಸರ್ವೇದಾಂತ ವೇದ್ಯ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಪರ ಮಹ ತದೇವಾಹಂ ನ ಮತ್ತೋನ್ಯದಿ ಮೇ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತ the answer to the question raised by tatva drishti the disciple and the question was for getting moksha we require brahma gnanam but that brahma gnanam should be aparoksha it should be direct knowledge and tatva drishti thinks the direct knowledge of brahman is not possible because direct knowledge requires the contact of the object with the organs and brahman cannot be contacted by the organs because brahman is free from shabdadi and therefore parok the direct knowledge is not possible and therefore the the brahma gnana janya or brahma gnana sadhana ka moksha is not possible and he said even if word gives the knowledge of brahman but that will be only paroksha gnana shabdena tu yadyapi brahma gnana utpadyate tathapi shabda gnana se parokshatvat shabda janya brahma gnana paroksha meva tat so first of all ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಆರ್ ಅಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೈ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಈಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ರೂಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಶಾಬ್ದ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಮೇವ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ this brahma aparoksha brahma gnanam is not possible for that guru ji the teacher is giving the answer and the answer is sukha dukha dehe sakshi basyatvat indriya sambandham vina pratyaksha gnanam na jayate iti niyamah nasti he says indriya sambandham vina without the contact with the organs ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನ ಜಾಯತೆ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಸಚ್ ರೂಲ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರೂಲ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿ ಸಫರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸಟ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇ ವಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಗುಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಬಿ ಗುಡ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ so we have we can have some ideas but we should have some flexibility generally people don't have and here this tatva drishti has got rigidity that indriya sambandham vina pratyaksha gnanam which is otherwise called aparoksha gnanam is not possible so that particular rule is dismissed many people have this this uh, idea in their mind that without enjoying the objects how one how can one be happy means he is not ready to accept that one can be happy without the enjoyments or without the enjoyment of the objects and that is why they don't get vairagya because happiness i want and without objects there cannot be happiness therefore 
I want objects. So similarly here, this Shishya has got this orientation that is knocked up by the Guru. And Guruji says that Vina Indriya Sambandhapi Pratyaksha Gdhanam Jayate. Don't make a rule. How do you say so? Sukha, sukha Dukha Dehe Sakshi Vasyatva. Sukha Dukha Dehe, pleasure, pain, etc. They are Sakshi Vasya. They are illumined by Sakshi without Indriya Sambandha. Without the connection with the Indriya. See, Sakshi is illumining the pleasure and pain without the help of Indriya. So, Indriya Sambandham Vina Api Pratyakshadhanam Jayate. So, what Guruji is asking, he is telling is that, do you have experience of happiness? No, no, happiness to hiding. Achha, at least unhappiness is there. So, do you have experience of unhappiness? Ah. Do you know that you have unhappiness? Yes, I know. Do you know through which organ you know? You cannot say through eyes, Swamiji, through eyes I know. You cannot say ears you know, through this tongue you know, Swamiji, I am tasting happiness. You cannot say or unhappiness. Therefore, without organs, you are knowing happiness. It means, and that happiness you know, is it direct or indirect? Do you infer that you have happiness? Yeah, you infer others' happiness. Does this person is smiling, therefore he must be happy. So, infer others' happiness. But your happiness, not indirect. You know for sure you are happy or unhappy. At least at that moment. Overall, maybe you are confused. Swamiji, I don't know. Sometimes happy, sometimes unhappy. So I don't know whether I'm, my life is happy or unhappy. Maybe confused. But right now, at this moment, you know whether you are happy or unhappy. And you know it directly without any inference. So, you have direct knowledge of pleasure, pain, etc. Without the connection of the pleasure and pain with the organs, from that particular case, we understand that for direct knowledge, Indriya Sambandha is not a must. We don't say Indriya Sambandha is not required any time at all. We don't say that. But it is not a must. Like for telephone, wire is required, but without wire also, there can be a telephone. We don't say it is not required at all. Some places, some places, some cases required also. But don't make a rule that without wire, this phone cannot work. That is not possible. Alright. So here, Guruji is telling the Sukha Dukkadi or Sakshi Bhasya. And by seeing Sakshi Vasya, what is conveyed? Without Indriya Sambandha, Sakshi is illumining Sukha Dukkhadi. Sukha Dukkhadi are known without Indriya Sambandha. Therefore, Niyama is not there. That Indriya Sambandha Vina Pratyakshadhanam Na Sambhavati Na Jayate, that rule is not there. So that is the main topic. So answer to Tattvadrashti's question, that don't expect Indriya Sambandha for Dhanam to be Pratyaksha or Dhanam to be Aparoksha. Right. And for that, the place of violation will be shown so that rule is dismissed. All right. Now, what is said here? Indriya Sambandham Vina Pratyaksha Dhanam Na Udeti Iti Niyamaha Nasti. Without the connection with the organ, Pratyaksha Dhanam, direct knowledge does not rise. Iti Niyamaha. Such rule is not there. Why? Sukha dukkha dehe gdhanam na kenapi indriyena janyate. Tathapi sukha dukkha dehe gdhanam pratyaksha meva. The knowledge of sukha dukkha adi is not born by any organs. Tathapi even then sukha dukkha dehe gdhanam pratyaksha meva. The knowledge of sukha dukkha adi is pratyaksha, direct. You may say, Swamiji, I am, I am seeing something very pleasant and therefore there is happiness and therefore I feel that uh, happiness is by eyes. Happiness is not by seen by eyes. Eyes created a particular data in the, in the mind 
and that created the feeling of happiness and that then for knowing that happiness eyes have no contribution if eyes have contribution then with closed eyes you cannot experience happiness if eyes alone can see happiness then close you close your eyes some people when they listen to music they close their eyes so then they should not experience happiness if eyes alone can see happiness ears alone can hear happiness then when you are you are not having uh, this hearing then you will not have happiness in fact sometimes we become happy when we don't hear we remove the hearing aid so that <laughs> Some people they plug their ear, then only they are comfortable. As aeroplane, etc. So you cannot say that happiness is pursued by any organs. All right. Tasma indriya sambandha janyam dana meva pratyekshak dana miti na niyama. Tasma means the abhichara darshanat. Since we are seeing the violation of your rule, what rule? No indriya sambandha, no pratyekshak dana. that rule is violated why because we are saying this pratyekshadana we are observing that there is a pratyekshadana without indriya sambandha therefore indriya sambandha janyam dan janyam danam eva pratyekshadana the knowledge which is born of the contact with the organs alone is pratyekshadana direct knowledge iti niyamah na this type of rule is not that then what is the rule some rule must be there to decide that this knowledge is pratyaksha or not what is the rule pratyakshatva prayojakam ke to decide the directness of the knowledge what is the prayojaka deciding factor dana gata pratyakshatva prayojaka in vedanta parivasha they discuss this what is the prayojaka deciding factor for pratyakshatva directness of the knowledge means when a given knowledge will be called direct knowledge for that answer is given here kintu kintu means not by indriya sambandha it is decided kintu yada visheyana vrittihi sambandha visayakara bhavati तदा प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञान जायते उच्य मैंड मॉडिफिकेशन विषय संबद्ध संबद्ध बीइंग कनेक्टेड टू द ऑब्जेक्ट बीइंग कनेक्टेड विद द ऑब्जेक्ट विषयाकारा भवति व्हेन द modification of the mind called vritti being connected to the object becomes bhavati becomes vishayakara having the shape the attribute of the object tada then pratyaksha gnanam jayate then direct knowledge is born iti uchyate in this manner it is told so what is let us see example when the vritti of the mind being connected with the object through the organ when it assumes the form of the pot my vritti which has come out through the uh, eyes and assumes the form vishayakara bhavati ghatakara bhavati then this knowledge will be called pratyaksha when vritti which is connected to the object becomes vishayakara then the knowledge born is called pratyaksha gnanam so knowledge which is born when the con- there is a contact between the vishaya and the vritti here vritti can be taken as a pramana vritti or prama vritti so when the prama vritti or pramana vritti so, sorry pramana vritti or prama vritti are in touch with are direct are contacting the prameya then the knowledge born is called pratyaksha gnanam so when knowledge is said to be pratyaksha when the vritti of the mind and the object both are 
contacting each other remaining in one place where the object is there alone the vritti is that type of situation when available then the knowledge which is born that knowledge will be called pratyaksha so pratyaksha gnanasya prayojakam kim the vishay the vritti vritti vishayo ho ekadesha sthatvam when both of them are remaining in one place or abhinnatvam when vritti and vishaya are remaining in one place or are becoming one then the knowledge born is called pratyaksha gnana or if we talk in the language of this vedanta paribhasha when vritti av chinna chaitanya and vishaya av chinna chaitanya become one then the knowledge born is pratyaksha gnana direct knowledge then tip tippani kara explain this vishaya av chinna chaitanyasya वृत्यवचिन्न चैतन्या भेदेव प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञान लक्षण प्रयोजक सो वॉट इज अभेद नॉन डिफरेंस बिट्वीन वाट विषयावचिन्न चैतन्य द कॉन्शियने कंडीशन बै दि ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक घट एक्सेट्रा वृत्यवचिन्न चैतन्य द कॉन्शियने कंडीशन बै द वृत्ति तयो अभेद द नॉन डिफरेंस बिट्वीन द कॉन्शियने कंडीशन बै दि ऑब्जेक्ट and the consciousness condition by the vritti eva alone pratyaksha gnana lakshanam is the characteristic of the direct knowledge or it is the deciding factor for directness of the knowledge <coughs> now further he explains sacha abhedah and that abheda that non difference between the vishaya av chinna chaitanya and vritti av chinna chaitanya that non difference kvachit in some cases indriya dwara bhavati happens through the organs as i showed through the eyes the vritti goes to the vishaya desha and vritti av chinna chaitanya and vishaya av chinna chaitanya become one and what is the in between factor gateway is indriya so sometimes the non difference between vishaya chaitanyam and vritti chaitanyam is through organs which is the case highlighted by this tatva drishti he think this is the only way so but now this tippani kara says this is one of the situations that is not the only situation so kvachit indriya dwara bhavati kvachit shabdena ja bhavati so sometimes we have to understand what sacha abhedah kvachit shabdena bhavati in some cases that non difference between the vritti avachinna chaitanya and vishaya avachinna chaitanya takes place through words as it happens in the case of dasha mahatvamasi he will be explaining that you are the 10th this is word this this is a sentence shabda pramana by shabda pramana this vritti dashama purushakara vritti is in contact with the dashama purusha dasham purusha vansal so dashamakara vritti and dashama purusha are having non separation the dashamakara vritti somewhere else and dashama purusha somewhere else that is not that abheda is there so dashamakara vritti and dashama purusha both of them have non separation and that non separation was created by what shabdena through words so that is second gateway the first gateway is indriya second is shabda third is kvachit indriya adi roopa bahya nimittam vina eva sharirantara jayamana vritti dwara bhavati in some cases like what knowing sukha knowing dukha in that case what is happening kvachit sometimes in the case of sukha dukha adi gnanam indriya adi roopa bahya nimittam vina eva without the external basis or external causal factor in the form of the organs indriya adi 
प्रकाश इंद्रिय आदि आदि पद है ना प्रकाश आदि बिकॉज वी रिक्वायर लाइट ऑल्सो वेन इंद्रिय द्वारा प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञान बवती तदा समटाइम्स यू रिक्वायर लाइट समटाइम्स यू रिक्वायर मीडियम फॉर साउंड फॉर ऑर्गन्स टू गो सो बिना एव बाह्य निमित्तम व्हाट इज द बाह्य निमित्तम इंद्रिय आदि सो विदाउट बिना एव मिस जस्ट विदाउट द एक्सटर्नल बेसिस और एक्सटर्नल कॉजल फैक्टर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गन एक्सेट्रा इन सिंपल वर्ड्स विदाउट इंद्रिय संबंध शरीरांतर जायमान वृत्ति द्वारा थ्रू द वृत्ति विच इज बॉर्न इन दी इन साइड द बॉडी भवती भवती किम भवती अभेद भवती कस्य अभेद भवती कयो अभेद विषयावचिन्न चैतन्य से वृत्यवचिन्न चैतन्य से सो विषयावचिन्न चैतन्य वृत्यवचिन्न चैतन्य अभेद टेक्स प्लेस बाय द वृत्ति विच इज बॉर्न इन दी शरीर so sukham how is it known sukham is known by another sukha gnana kara vritti which is born where inside the body and it is born without any basis without any help of organs is it clear that is what is said here vinayeva sharirantar jayamana vritti dwara gnana kara vritti dwara bhavati so no travel through organs tatrapi Even in that case, pratyaksh gdana miti vyapadesha bhavati. There also they mention that this is pratyaksh gdana direct knowledge. In this manner, vyapadesha mention bhavati happens. So what is said in this paragraph? That the deciding factor, the deciding factor for establishing that this knowledge is a direct knowledge, the deciding factor is the abheda between. विषयावच्छिन्न चैतन्य एंड वृत्तिवच्छिन्न चैतन्य एंड दट अभेद कैन हैपन इन थ्री वेस वन इज थ्रू इंद्रिया विच इज अ वेरी पॉप्युलर वे समटाइम्स थ्रू वर्ड्स द अभेद बिटवीन विषय चैतन्य एंड वृत्ति चैतन्य एंड समटाइम्स इट इज थ्रू द वृत्ति अनदर वृत्ति विच इज बॉर्न इन साइड द माइंड ना फर्दर ही एक्सप्लेन That what is this Vishayava Chinnna Chaitanya and Rutyava Chinnna Chaitanya Abheda? Okay, Aram said. So he said <laughs> Chaitanya Sya. So now it is the topic which has been this. I mean presented in the first paragraph. It now further explained. So Vishayava Chinnna Chaitanya, Rutyava Chinnna Chaitanya. What is this? Why you are talking about all this? Ava Chinnna, Ava Chinnna. You know. So for that he says Chaitanya Sya. स्वरूपतः न कहा कोपि भेदः अस्ति ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस देर इज नो डिविजन व्हाट्स एवर फ्रॉम द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ इट्स ट्रू नेचर मीन्स चैतन्यम कॉन्शियसनेस स्वरूपतः बाय नेचर डज नॉट हैव एनी डिविजन देर इज नो डिविजन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस बाय नेचर मीन्स by nature consciousness is completely free from any division it is only ekameva advitiyam homogeneous one kintu but vishaya vritti roopa ubhayopadi prayukta bhedah asti but there is a division a real division is not there but functional experiential division is there what is that bheda prayukta so there is a division of consciousness caused by upadhi adjunct and what are the upadhi ubhaya upadhi two fold upadhis what are they vishaya and vritti so even though consciousness is one but there is a division based on two fold upadhi namely the object and vritti the thought in simple words based on the vishaya vishaya upadhi and vritti upadhi one and the same consciousness is divided for communication purpose divided into two so one consciousness is communicated is is having the division for 
communication purpose. For communication purpose, we say that one consciousness has become twofold. And what is the basis for consciousness to become or at least appear twofold? Upadhi. And here in this case, what is the Upadhi? Vishaya Upadhi, Vritti Upadhi. Alright. So, Vishaya Upadhi, Vritti Upadhi, Prayukta Bhedaha Asti Chaitanyasya. Tayoho, Upadhyoho, Bhinna Desha Sthatve, Tadrisho Upadhi, Vishishta Chaitanyayoho, Bheda Bhyavahara Bhavati. He says, when these two upadhi, tayoho upadhyoho, when these two upadhis are bhinna deshastha, when they are obtaining in two different places, then tadrisho upadhi vishishta chaitanya yoho bheda vyavahara bhavati. Then there is bhavati, there is bheda vyavahara, the expression of division of what? This twofold consciousness endowed with this twofold upadhi. When these two upadhi, vishaya upadhi and vritti upadhi, when they are in different place, like vritti is still in the heart or vritti is still inside the body and the vishaya is outside, then there is a bheda vyavahara. That vishaya vachinna chaitanya there and vritti vachinna chaitanyam here. So bheda vyavahara is taking place. When? When the upadi is in different places, one upadi is the vritti upadi is there near the body, and other this vishaya is away from the body. So when they are in two different places, upadis are two in two different places, then vishaya vachinna chaitanyam and vritti vachinna chaitanyam are considered to be different. That is called bheda vyavahara bhavati. But Vrittehe vishaya karta kale dvayoho upadhyoho ekadesha sthatvam bhavati. But when vritti assumes the shape of the object at that time, dvayoho upadhyoho, both the upadhis ekadesha sthatvam bhavati, they remain in one place alone. When vritti assumes the shape of the ghata, ghatakara vritti bhavati, then Ghatakara Vritti and Ghata, they are in the same place. So Ekadesha Sattvam Bhavati. Kasyo, Kayo, Dvayoho Upadhyo. Vishaya Vritti Rupa Upadhyoho, Ekadesha Sattvam Bhavati. Tada, Ekadesha Sattva Upadhi Sahita Vishaya Chaitanya Vritti Chaitanya Yoho, Abhedah Bhyavariyate. When the Upadhi are in the same place, then Upahita is considered to be one. That is said here, Tada, at that time. That time means that when both the Upadis are remaining in one place, at that time, Ekadeshastha Upadi Sahita Ekadeshastha Upadi Sahita Vishaya Chaitanya Vritti Chaitanya Abheda Vyavariyate. That time, Abheda Vyavariyate. The Abheda is expressed, is considered. Of what? The consciousness. Which consciousness? Vishaya Chaitanya and Vritti Chaitanya. What type of Vishaya Chaitanya, Vritti Chaitanya? Which are Upadi Sahita. Which are endowed with the Upadi. What type of Upadi? Ekadeshastha Upadi. The Upadis which are obtaining in one place. So when... Vritti assumes the form of the object at that time, Vishaya Chaitanyam and Vritti Chaitanyam are considered to be Abheda, Abhidna. Why? Because their Upadi are in one place. Since Upadi are in one place, therefore Upahita is considered to be one. That is the observation we make. Evam Vishaya Chaitanya Saha Vritti Chaitanya Sya Jayamana Bhedaha Eva Pratyakshak Dhanam Iti Aparukshak Dhanam Iti Sakshat Karaha Iti Chauchyate. In this manner, Vishaya Chaitanya Saha with the object consciousness Vritti Chaitanya Sya of the thought consciousness Jayamana Bhedaha Non difference which is born. The non-difference 
which is born the non difference of vritti chaitanya with vishaya chaitanya then the non difference itself is called pratyaksha jnana really non difference is not non difference the the knowledge which is characterized by non difference is pratyaksha jnana is called direct knowledge otherwise called aparoksha jnana it is immediate knowledge or sometimes sakshatkara means he direct knowledge immediate knowledge it is uchyate in this manner it is told so generally when we hear the word sakshatkara we think like atma sakshatkara only we can happily say gata sakshatkara we we need not have any reluctance oh my god sakshatkara swami ji are telling gata gata sakshatkara sakshatkara of gata also like you are you have the knowledge of the form of the lord the ishwara's vigraha that will be called vigraha gdana and you have got the knowledge of ghata that will be called ghata gdana both are called gdana pratyaksha you can use some extra adjective that is a divine knowledge etc but both of them are gdana so similarly here this aparoksh direct knowledge of pot etc is called sakshatkara so it is uchyate so this is important to know because people <clears throat> whenever they hear the word sakshatkara then some thrilling comes in the body sakshatkara sakshatkara is simple knowledge direct knowledge is called sakshatkara either in hindi they have used the the interview you know they call sakshatkara pradhan mantri ne ek sakshatkar mein bataya so that's how they say sakshatkara means a direct meeting is called sakshatkara all right tadidam now he is concluding with some details that this pratyaksha gdana lakshanam the correct the definition of pratyaksha gdanam what we, what is the definition when the vritti avachinna chaitanya and vishaya avachinna chaitanyam are one then that knowledge is called pratyakshitanam that lakshana is anugatam is common in hearing in five situations see in what all situation you can use the word pratyakshitan so nishaldas is giving very comprehensive understanding because in our mind pratyakshitan only we think knowledge of pot through the eyes in that we go only up to that this sound knowledge also is called pratyaksha that also doesn't come generally pratyaksha gdanam is generally aksha means eyes so pratyaksha gdanam is what the what we see swami ji the part gata gata gdanam no through our eyes that is gata pratyaksha gdanam what about sound that also is pratyaksha gdanam at least you come you come out of that narrow understanding so sound knowledge also is pratyaksha gdanam taste knowledge also is pratyaksha gdanam so when you eat and you eh, the first time you eat ah this is sambar sambar is is having this particular taste so there one eh, one swami ji made nice observation so when you say or oh, sambar is sour or sambar is sweet or sambar is tasty sambar has got particular taste so that time indriya becomes see, the pramana bhuta and afterwards you are you are still taking sambar no or rasam whatever that time indriya gets the status of bhogindriya initially it is a, is a gnanendriya after that no some you are you are enjoying sambar and somebody what are you doing i am getting the knowledge of sambar <laughs> you don't say i am getting the knowledge of sambar you don't get knowledge i am enjoying sambar or suffering whatever <laughs> so idea is that initially first time it is it works as a gnanendriya immediate afterwards bhogendriya okay bhogendriya at a part anyways so pratyaksha gnana lakshanam is anugatam is in hearing is common in this five situations what are they इंद्रिय जन्य बाह्य घटादि प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञाने अनुगतम दिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञानम व्हिच वी गेव इन दिस पैराग्राफ इज अनुगतम इज इन हियरिंग इज कॉमन वेयर इन द घटादि प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञानम इन द डायरेक्ट नॉलेज ऑफ पॉट एटसेट्रा 
born of the organs. In fact, the first one alone is very popular. First one alone is considered to be pratyaksha by people. So in that also pratyaksha dana lakshanam is there. Vritti avachinna chaitanya vishya avachinna chaitanya abheda is there. Therefore, the pratyaksha dana lakshanam is there in this knowledge. Second is what? Mahavakya janya brahma pratyaksha dana. In the direct knowledge of Brahma, born of Mahavakya, Tatvamasi. There are also Pratyaksha. Pratyaksha means Aparoksha. Because sometimes people say, how can I say Pratyaksha Gyanam? So, direct knowledge of Brahman, born of Mahavakya, that also is Pratyaksha Gyanam. Then, the only difference, we don't call it uh, Pratyaksha Gyanam, we call it Sakshatkara. <laughs> like somebody was telling he says, oh, ordinary people dies. Then he says, he Little bit more evolved person died, he went to heaven. Little bit more, he went to the feet of the Lord. And we are a wise person, we don't say wise person died. What we say, he became one with Brahman. But practically speaking, uh, the physical fact is the same. Vrutti only. But only names are different. So similarly here, we call it Sakshatkara or Pratyakshak Dhanam. Fact remains the same. So Brahma Mahavakya Janya Brahma Pratyakshak Dhane Api Pratyakshak Dhana Lakshanam Anugatam. Anugatam is common in hearing. So we think that only one type of Pratyakshak Dhanam. He is showing five situations. The second is Brahma Pratyakshak Dhanam. Third is what? Bahya Nimittam Vina Antara eva utpadyamana sukadukkadi pratyaksha gnane api pratyaksha gnana lakshana manugatam. That is how we have to read the complete sentence. So, in the knowledge, direct knowledge of pleasure and pleasure, pain, etc. Adi padena krodadi. So, pleasure, pain, etc. which is utpadyamana, the direct knowledge of pleasure, pleasure, pain which is born, antara eva without. Bhashya nimittam, any external factor, in that knowledge also, in the direct knowledge, knowledge of pleasure, pain, etc., which is born without the external basis, in that also, Pratyak Shiddhana Lakshama Nugadam. Achha, he makes it very, very comprehensive. He said, what about Ishvara getting Dhanam? Maya Vritti Rupa Ishvara Gdhani Api. Ishvara also has got Dhanam. Ishwara has got dhanam of everything. And Ishwara's dhanam is always pratyaksha. So, Maya Vritti Rupa Ishwara Gdhanam. The knowledge of Ishwara, which is in the form of Maya Vritti, that also is pratyaksha. So, Ishwara has got a pratyaksha of everything. Alright. Including Brahma. So, he has got Maya Vritti Rupa Ishwara Gdhanam. And Avidya Vritti Rupa Raju Sarpadi Gdhanecha. And in the knowledge of Raju Sarpa, which is Avidya Vritti Rupa, which is in the form of the Avidya Vritti, ignorance thought or ignorance mode or ignorance modification. So the knowledge of rope snake, which is in the form of the modification of Avidya, in that also Pratyakshidhanam is Lakshanam is Anugatam. Means all five are called Pratyaksha based on the Lakshanam. What is the Lakshanam? Vritti Avachinna Chaitanya and Vishaya Avachinna Chaitanya being one. In all five cases, this is meeting with. This Lakshana is, is fulfilled in all five cases. Or we see the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamada Yatruna Deva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Dhrubhyo Namah